Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. I'm gonna show you four different tests that I've just run, just for my own personal consumption. I thought I would share it with you guys. Uh, I'm filming this with the Sony Alpha 6300, which I just bought used, and this is the A7R II. They're gonna compare both of these, both in 4K. This whole video is in 4K. And I'm gonna compare them in Super 35 mode. So let's take a look at the first test. First test is a sharpness test. On the left-hand side, we've got the Alpha 6300. Right-hand side, we've got the A7R II using the exact same 55mm lens, which is very sharp from Sony. And as you can see there, yes, there is definitely a noticeable difference between the two. The 6300 is definitely resolving more information. It's definitely sharper than the A7R II. So if I was using this on a wide shot or something establishing shot um, where I need all that detail, I would I think I would definitely use the uh, Alpha 6300 more than I would use this camera, which is kind of surprising. All right, in this next test, uh, we're at 25,600. We're testing noise. Left-hand side, 6300. Right side, A7R2. Um, again, they're both in 4K uh, crop mode. And boy, I cannot tell a difference. In fact, you might even be missing it going across the screen here because there's so little difference. The grain structure, the noise structure looks absolutely identical. Um, and I gotta guess that they're using the back, same back illuminated sensor technology on both of these sensors. And they look, the colors and everything looks so close. Um, again, the only real difference I've seen so far is the Alpha 6300 is resolving a little bit more detail than the A7R2 at 4K. And this next test is moray patterns. Um, you can actually see me move the camera on both of these very slightly, and that usually generates some moray patterns on this particular jacket. This is filmed at 11 feet away from the jacket. Here we go, I'm moving it here. And I can't tell any difference. I don't see any moray patterns developing on one versus the other. I can tell that the uh, 6300 on the left is a slightly sharper, but boy, they both seem to have the, you know, they're both aliasing or more free, which is a fantastic thing. And the last test I want to show you, this is um, with the 6300 on the left, A7R2 on the right. This is a very wide shot, both shot in 4K, APS-C mode. This one I'm using the 10 to 18 lens from Sony, which is not the sharpest lens. And plus I had an ND filter. I'm looking at dynamic range here. Um, and you see everything above that line right there? That's where you want to look in terms of what's going on. Here I zoomed in for you, uh, 200%. And basically, you're, you see that ridge line? You just want to throw everything out information-wise below that line when you're looking at dynamic range in terms of the clouds and what's going on in that second ridge back. Um, there is a slight difference, and I don't know how to judge this one. Um, the 6300 seems to be a little bit darker in the shadows, but the highlights seem to be about the same. So dynamic range-wise, I don't know, it's a tough call to make. But um, what's interesting about this test is I was thinking I would be able to see a difference in sharpness. But with that 10 to 18, which is not the sharpest lens, plus the ND filter, it might be, you know, giving it some problems in terms of adding a little softness. I really couldn't tell any difference on that wide shot between the 6300 and the a7r2 in terms of sharpness so that's pretty much it i just thought i'd share those with you guys um, if you're interested i do have a course six hour course on the a7r2 um, get you up to speed quickly if you're shooting a video and also i'm kind of contemplating making one for the alpha 6300 if you guys are interested in a course like that definitely write me and let me know because i'm about to start a new course and it might not be camera related i'm trying to figure out what to do next all right. Thanks. Talk to you guys later.